Hello everybody. Um, some of you may have noticed that I have not posted for a couple, two, three, four weeks, five weeks, whatever it's been, I don't know. Um, got busy doing firewood. Uh, we got firewood now for, for almost three winters. But uh, I'm going to change things around a bit. I'm only going to post one time, once a week, if I can. Um, I shouldn't even say that. I'm just going to post, start posting when I get these projects done. Uh, this two a week is just too much work and too much strain on this old noggin. So anyways, um, this is a teaser I'm going to show you of what I've got working on, which I should start uh, in two days and should have it done within a week or so. And, uh, and I'll post that. It's going to be a super cool, pretty damn neat. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, here's a big concretion. Um, I'm going to do a little teaser video for you folks. Um, I haven't done a video, I haven't posted a video in, well, several weeks now. Probably going to be a couple more weeks before I can get to it. But this is my next project, but before I can get to actually prepping it, you can see this line that I've drawn around here that I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to bring it back here and wash uh, what's inside there. What's inside there is pretty nice. Um, and get it ready to do two videos. One, a video of actual prepping it, probably an hour long, maybe two, I don't know, however long it takes. And then another video over here that's going to be a time lapse of doing the actual prep. So two videos after this little teaser video. But I'm going to go out there in his garage, which is very cold, and cut this and come back here and clean it up and dry up and warm my hands back up and I'll show you what's inside this rock. Woohoo! Okay, that was a job. Um, you can see this big chunk of rock I cut off. Huge chunk. I don't even need that. Toss that in the rock bucket. What a mess. This piece is going to be glued back onto this piece. But let me show you what it's going to be. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Got a lot of glare because it's, it's wet. Let me just light over here. But you can see this. This is its. Oh, that's, that's coming off. Oh, jeez, I gotta be careful. Um, that's it's actually its right pincer. And this is the this is actually the left one. So this is going to be glued back onto here, and then I'm going to prep down. From here, I don't see any. Oh crap! I see something there. That's not good. That's right. Can't tell if that's crab or not. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I gave myself gobs of room. Yeah. So if that's right there. Of course, I see there's a, another crab here, but it's all disarticulated and mangled. So I'll just leave that alone. Hopefully, that 
if that's crab, I don't have my glass on, but that looks like crab color, but that's way over here, so that's okay, so that's a different that's a different piece of crab. I'm guessing. Anyways, I'm gonna clean this up, dry it up, and I'm gonna clean this up, dry that up, and then glue the two halves together, clamp them, and let them sit for a couple days. So that's my plan. So Once it's dry, you don't want even a grain of sand in the way. There's a lot of contact points there, and you want, you want everyone to be as perfect as possible. And a grain of sand can put everything a little bit out of place. So there's that one, this one, which is actually quite dirty, it's been sitting around for a long, long time, sat around in Washington, a friend's, friend's house of mine for a long time, and it's been sitting here for, well, since last summer, and I thought it's about time. I finish up this project for my son. Yep, a lot of work. It'll be a lot of hours, take a lot of patience, a lot of air scribing. And then just gonna hand it over. Sayonara crab. Okay, that's got some drying to do. Alright, went in the house for a good half an hour or so. Came back, it's it's not quite dry but dry enough so what I'm going to do now is get this ready for the uh, time-lapse photography and so what I've done is I've got these four prongs coming up through this piece of plywood they're really sturdy they don't move and I put a mark on this one and the mark is right there so since that's going to be the most difficult one that's going to be a job, I can see that. What's going on? It's not even cutting. Holy cow. Well, that's not going to work. All right, I got to reposition that. I'm putting tons of pressure on this. Oh my, the drill's hot too, Jesus. This is taking 20 times longer than I had anticipated. But, look at how nice it's starting to sit and I've only got two holes in it just starting to rub here so that means I'm getting deep enough and that one that one's pretty deep that goes, so that goes like that that one goes in that hole and that goes in that hole 
Well, that's sitting pretty good, actually. Almost flat. I'm going to call it good right there. And it's dry. I've been working on this drilling so much. So I'm going to glue this piece onto that piece, clamp it, and take it indoors for two days. And then I can start to prep. This should be an awesome crab, I hope. I just hope it's not sticky on the, the dorsal side. Oh, man. These are... Oh, I've never had any good luck with these crabs. Let's see how my dry fit's going to work. Oh, look. All right, be very careful. I don't want any pieces falling apart. Something wrong in there. Real good on that side. There's something right there. And it's probably this loose piece right there. Oh, this is driving me nuts. All right, I gotta study this, guys. I'll be back. Big clamp, lots of pressure, hope I don't break it. Some of this glue that's oozing out. Oh, that's crap. It's already on my fingers. If any of you guys got tips about getting glue on your fingers, let me know. No, I don't wear gloves, sorry. Never got in the habit of doing that. Boy, it's heavy now. Looks like a pretty good fit though. So far I'm pretty pleased with that, but until I get down there and find out what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for now. That's gonna take that doors and let that dry for a while. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm already back. <laughs> that only took a minute. Uh, once this is cured, I'll get it placed onto here and see how that's gonna fit and work up my camera gear, make sure everything's gonna work out. Then I'll bring it over here and I'll start prepping it and that'll be the start of the next video. So until then, over and out. <laughs>